currently breaking off the Suron again to do some ice riding. I'm gonna try and take off these more trial tires and actually stud the stock tires. I don't wanna ruin these things. A whole bunch of tires in here right now with the side-by-side. -side. Selling the side-by-side -side tires. So we're definitely packed in here, but we got the stock Suron tires, which I'm just gonna drill or screw some screws into. Hopefully they make for some good ice tires. Definitely need a lot of screws. I'm gonna try and do pretty much every single knobby. We'll run to the store in a little bit and grab those. Get them swapped out on the Suron. The goal is to successfully do some ice riding on the pond. We'll walk down there now, see how thick it is. Pretty thin on the edges. We still got some, we got some edges that aren't frozen yet. It's only been a few days where it's been pretty cold. It's like, looks like we might be in luck. Not sure about the middle. Right now it's probably two or three inches thick. Go grab the drill, drill a hole, and see how thick it actually is. Not sure if I want to cross the middle right now, today, and I'll potentially fall on the ice. The Suron's not coming out of here if it sinks. I don't see how it'd be any different from the dirt bikes and the pit bikes. It might actually work better since it doesn't weigh as much. This is not gonna fit in that hole. My hands are freezing, I'm not prepared. It's like 10 degrees today. Only about an inch and a half, maybe thick. Not sure if it can hold me in the stir on it. Without studs, they're really not going anywhere. Surprisingly holding me right now somehow. This looks like it's like one of the thicker spots throughout the whole pond. I'm sure if I went out in the middle, I would be sinking in. The bike would be gone and I would be frozen. Let's go get the other tires studded and see how this thing does. All right, we got the rig all studded up. I did, I uh, started out doing every other, and then with the front, I can't actually get the side knobbies without it hitting the forks, and I didn't want to mess up the forks, so just did every single knobby in the middle. How good it works in the front, I won't be able to lean it over too far, but the rear, starting in the rear, I wasn't sure how many I was gonna have left over, or if I was gonna have enough in general, so I did every other and kinda did every three. Filled it in a little bit. Hopefully these hold up and I get enough traction in the ice. Not sure how well these screws are gonna do. I think I used them on the pit bike previously a couple years ago when I did this, so hopefully they hold up and don't rip out of these tires. Well, let's get this thing outside and test it out. Ice check here, see how thick it is after a few more days. Looks good to me, we're at about four inches. Fortunately, by the time I got the figure eight all shoveled out, getting dark. I'll get this thing topped off for tomorrow and we'll give this thing a full test. Well, as you can see, I plan on filming the Suron video, but we got slammed with snow last night. It's only right to take out the razor. We got about a foot and a half of snow in some spots. Then we'll come back and test the Suron in the snow and wait for the ice to freeze up. All that snow melted and there's like a foot of slush on top of it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait a few days for that to refreeze up again. Regardless, we'll get this thing warmed up and get messing around on this thing. Have a little fun today. She's cold. It's been sitting outside all day. Oh, we're good. Good? All right, cool. Uh, I gotta try and go around you.
and try and do some cyclone. <laughs> Finally, here's the moment of truth. Let's test this thing out. Now that we got a foot and a half of snow, we'll see how well it does in the deep snow. How good these makeshift studs hook up on the ice. Another beautiful day here in New York. See if we can get through this deep stuff. This battery's gonna drain so quick. I think we got a problem already. Sounds like that belt's slipping with all the snow. I don't think it's cut out for this stuff without a chain drive system. Side-by-side -side tracks already cut in, so it's helping me out a little bit. Definitely need a track kit for this thing. That would be so much more fun. So I've seen they do make a track kit for these things. If you guys want to see that, throw a like on this video and maybe I can get one of those things to try out in the deep snow and upgrade the battery and get a little more power in this thing to be able to actually pull myself through it. Because that thing looks like a ton of fun to rip around in the snow. Breaking through. Hopefully it's a little bit thicker once we get out. Looks like we got a little slush, a little break. Hopefully this thing doesn't fall through. It hooks up so good. It's like I'm riding on pavement. Woo! Can't get too close to the edge. It's a little sketchy. through all the way not sure how i feel about crossing the middle right now maybe once it freezes up a little more after a few days we'll get back out here get a full little track going hooks right up so good Woo. they're working way better than i thought they would couldn't end up using the stock tires they're a little bit too thin won't be able to do it with the stocks without puncturing a tube then these upgraded trials tires had just enough where it wouldn't poke through and pop the tube so it ended up barely working out and i don't know how much better it could get they hook up really good these studs hook up it's like riding on pavement pretty much I can hear the ice underneath cracking. I'm just waiting for the back wheel to break through at any point. Because this top layer yesterday was all slush and by the morning it was like this. That's why we're breaking through the edges. I gotta let this thing freeze up for a few more days and maybe we can get a full pond, like put out cones, get a little track going, maybe get the pit bike studded up and get a little ice racing going in the backyard pond. Back brakes are a little bit iffy right now, as you can tell, don't really work. There we go, got it. Got a feeling we're gonna break through over here. Woo. There we go. All right, so there you have it. As you can tell, the Suron does really well. I'll try and go out a little bit, go full speed. Over all this slush, get some speed and power through all that deep stuff. Woo. We're almost, we're making it. Come on, we're barely making it. Come on. There we go. Got a little momentum now. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Woo. Barely made this thing back from yesterday. Had a blast ripping around, drifting around in the streets. I could not take this thing out and have a little fun with it. So with that, if you want to see more side-by-side -side content or Suron content, definitely need a little more power to actually pull myself through the snow. So maybe we'll do a little battery upgrade controller upgrade and get this thing pushing more power to be able to push that track kit because with the stock setup probably not going to do too well if you want to see the snow bike track kit throw a like on this video if you want to see all that go down and you're new hit the subscribe button down below and on that i'll see you guys in the next video